Fa la 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 gingerbread cookies. That's exactly what we're going to make today. Gingerbread cookies, warm and spiced and doughy and chewy. Chewy gingerbread cookies. They are so easy to make. And we're going to start off by creaming together some butter, which is softened down ever so slightly. And we're going to cream it together with a combination of sugars. I've got some granulated sugar and a little bit of dark brown sugar. So straight on with the mixer. Let's get this mix light and fluffy. The brilliant thing about these cookies is the minute you get them in the oven, they start wafting that beautiful Christmas smell and instantly you're transported to Christmas heaven. We are in business now. So to this mixture, we're going to add one large free range egg. So get that straight in there. To this, we're also going to give it a bit of a depth of sweetness from some treacle. And if you can't get treacle, which I know not everyone can, you can use black strap molasses. I think that's what it's called. Black molasses, essentially. A good tip if you're taking this out of the jar is to use a spoon with a little bit of oil on it. And it'll ensure that you won't be left in the sticky mess I'm in right now. All right, get rid of this. Now we're going to leave him here. And we're going to mix this up. Okay, we have it nicely mixed through and at this point now we need to talk about flavors and spices So to this mixture, we're gonna get in there with our dry ingredients, but first things first We're gonna add a tiny touch of vanilla extract We're also gonna go in there with a heaped teaspoon of ground ginger just like this I like mine to be quite gingery but you can pull back if you don't want too much of that flavor. We're also gonna add a heaped teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or bread soda or baking soda, whatever way you call it in your country. And now we're gonna give this a little mix through just to completely combine it. Okay, nicely mixed through. And now it's time to get rid of your little, uh, what are these things called? Mixers, beaters. Get rid of your beaters, tap off any excess. And now it's time to fold through our flour, a little pinch of salt and some stem ginger for some flavor. I like the little bit of salt in there because of the contrast between the sweetness and all that lovely saltiness. So uh, flour next. So dump your flour straight in there and we're gonna fold this through until we have a nice cookie dough batter. For a little bit of extra flavor, now you don't have to use this if you can't get your hands on this, but stem ginger, it has this lovely little sweet sort of fiery flavor. And if you get little chunks of this in your biscuits, it is truly special. This is coming together beautifully. And now I have my beautiful gingerbread biscuit dough. This is not your typical gingerbread dough because this one results in a beautiful chewy interior. Normally gingerbread is quite crisp and thin. This one is all about thickness and chewiness. So this goes to rest in the fridge and I have one that has been rested and that's ready to go. It needs to rest in the fridge just so it has time for all that gluten in the flour to relax a little bit. That cooling process in the fridge also helps that your cookies don't spread too much when they hit the heat in the oven. So grab up a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. And now it's just a case of taking up about a teaspoon's amount of the dough, rolling it in your hands like this. Take that little ball, roll it in some granulated sugar. And then once it is nicely coated like this, place it on your baking tray and then just press it down ever so slightly with your thumb. And now I'm gonna repeat with the remaining dough. Okay, my last little dough ball is ready to go and I've pressed it down. This now goes into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 180 degrees Celsius. They're gonna cook for about eight minutes. They will spread ever so slightly, but you're looking for a nice little bit of crackle effect and you're also looking for a nice firm exterior. Right, oven time. Right, my cookies have cooled, they've come out of the oven, they are ready to go, and these now could be eaten just as they are. They've got a lovely finish on them, that lovely granulated sugar has given them a nice kind of rough crust on the outside. And now, I'm actually going to go the extra mile, because it is Christmas, we're gonna give these a nice gingerbread filling. So, to do that, I have some softened butter and some icing sugar, and this essentially is a very simple filling to make. I'm gonna add a tiny touch of ginger. I don't know if this, oh, it does fit. I thought the spoon wasn't going to fit. So we're going to go about a half a teaspoon of ground ginger in here. And all you got to do is beat this up until you have a nice smooth mixture. Okay, we are in business. I now have a nice smooth filling. So I'm going to get rid of the beaters. 
We're gonna get them in the sink and now it is time to bring this together. And to do that, you're just gonna use a spatula to scrape down the sides and essentially you're gonna want about a teaspoon's amount to spread on the interior filling of all these beautiful biscuits. So take one up, give it a good spread with the filling. You don't wanna to be too generous here because you don't want it to squeeze out the sides, just enough to bring it together and then choose one that's kind of similar size. And you are left with a gingerbread cookie which is chewy, moist and oh so delicious with all that spice in there. So now it is just a case of doing exactly the same with the remaining cookies. Okay, that is all my cookies filled and now I get to taste one. Mm. Tastes like Christmas. You've got all that spice in there. Mm. And it's that wonderful chewiness that you get from only these gingerbread cookies. It's not like those crisp gingerbreads you've ever had before. This is a chewy, beautiful, moist cookie that has that great filling in there as well. So if you're looking for the recipe for these brilliant gingerbread cookies, you'll find them in the box below over on my website. Make sure to like this video, comment beneath letting me know if you're gonna try the cookies, and of course, subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious baking recipes just like this one. Until then, my friends, happy baking, and I'll see you soon. And you'll notice as you add that treacle in there, the smell is really that sort of rich, almost boozy sort of smell. You remember boozy? Boozy. I say boozy now.